Hi everyone, it's day three in Korea for me and the, uh, the GBIT program here of Innovate UK. It's been a, a moment really for all of us. We've all started, decided that we want to convert to become Korean. It's just so great here. Uh, I could quite happily live and work here. It's a nice place, clean, everyone's polite and respectful, uh, everyone's friendly, the food is amazing. Uh, we have just been eating really, really well while we've been here. We went to a, uh, a Korean barbecue last night, which uh, was my first authentic Korean barbecue I've ever experienced. Uh, I had lots of lots of meat. They don't really understand what vegetarian is out here, I'm afraid, if you're vegetarian. Um, you can just about find it, but sometimes I just don't care if they haven't got anything on the menu. Um, and uh, we had a little explore around the, the Coex building, the, the conference and exhibition centre, which is just right outside my window here. Um, which is convenient because it's raining a lot today, which is a shame because it's really nice in the UK. Uh, and we could walk around the shopping centre. So at the end of our meal, we had a little wander uh, around the shops that were just closing up, got some ice cream, um, had a, a bit of a, uh, a chat, as, as we often do as a group, and stumbled across a giant library, the most beautiful library ever, um, just in the middle of a mall, just sitting there with perfect books that hadn't been graffitied or ruined like they would be if they were a British... Uh, a British library <laughs> sitting in the middle of a shopping centre. Um, very peaceful, very, very beautiful. It just sort of epitomises just this wonderful country we're in. The uh, the day today has been all about the Metaverse Expo. Um, I think originally it was called the XR Expo. Um, bit of a mouthful, but the word XR sort of emerged out of VR and AR. Um, and now Metaverse has come along to replace the word XR, because now it's all about the Metaverse. Um, and uh, I, you can sort of see why the Koreans are mad about the metaverse. The government's made a big mission to make metaverse their um, their priority. Well, maybe not a priority, but it's a very important part of their their development. Um, it's uh, been been run at a political level. Um, we also have um, uh, a lot of opportunities here to meet and talk to other people who are uh, working in the metaverse sector. So they set up. Uh, meetings of us here from the GBIC program so we were meeting other Korean companies and SMEs who were interested in in the sort of work that we're doing so we spent the morning sort of wandering around trade show stands as a little group of us uh, following uh, a translator who was very useful several times the translators here are brilliant they've just been looking after us really well um, and we would just pop into a, a booth and just ask what on earth something was that we were looking at we didn't make any sense and within a couple of minutes of having the translation explained to us, we all realised how brilliant it was. And it's something that uh, we, we'd ne never seen before in the UK or anywhere else. And it would be a really useful thing to uh, to use. So we uh, we saw some, some VR experiences. We saw lots of um, Metaverse platforms. So it's like people who uh, might use, send an avatar around a virtual campus, around a virtual conference centre. Uh, people are building a lot of NFT systems, a lot of NFT platforms where they can sell and buy uh, their tradable um, digital assets such as images, music, 3D assets. Uh, so a lot of that going on. Uh, not all of it is appreciated and relevant to some of the people in the, in the consortium, but there's definitely some, some good use cases for NFTs as well, which uh, the Koreans here have made a nice explanation of. Uh, a lot of uh, location-based experience technology, uh, a lot of motion capture, and quite a lot of people attempting to do some form of live um, theatre and live music uh, only not live what they're doing is that they're creating a, uh, a, a real real-time game engine uh, experience using uh, motion capture technology and that's all real-time and live but then they're producing a web stream uh, like a YouTube screen share of the of the content which is a step below what we're able to do at Copper Candle we're able to send the actual data from the motion capture and all of the lighting information straight to the game on the user's computer. That is a significant technology that you know, we've patented because we know that we're the only ones that can do it and it's um, it's a sets us apart from all of the other people here. And everyone we talk to is blown away by the idea that they can stream motion capture data straight into a computer game anywhere on the planet. And we gain a lot of people talking to us about how they could use their, you know, give access to their artists. They have studios of people who are you know, artists uh, working for them who might be interested in streaming themselves into a metaverse platform in the future or maybe even integrating our technology into their metaverse platform um, so it's been a, uh, a rainy day but a very successful day i have a, a pocket full of business cards and opportunities uh, which is exactly why i'm here so i can uh, 
try to understand a bit more about the Korean culture and uh, just penetrate this business market a little bit more so that we have opportunities for Copper Candle in the Korean space.